I'd like to tell you about a dream I had last night. Off to a good start. Okay. I was back in ordinary. Bef but in the dream, I was alone. I was the only child. A girl. My name was Jessie. But then the Bureau came and caught me, locked me up. Have you ever noticed that our names, Jessie, Dylan, they could be girls' names, boys' names, could be anything. Don't you find that weird? I find that weird. Sure. What the hell was that? Is he trying to mess with me? Dylan? Dylan would like to tell you about a dream. This again? I was going to be the new director of this place. I helped you get a job here. You were an office assistant. You'd make coffee, and it stayed that way. Forever and ever. It was nice, really nice. That's debatable. But here's the strange thing. The dream shifted, and none of it was real anymore. It was a game. We were in a game. And then it shifted again. Or, or maybe it was another dream already. Or, or maybe I'm just confusing them. But in this other dream, it was more like a musical. This is an ordinary song about an... It's the ordinary store. She worked an ordinary job. Something, something. And that's all I can remember of that dream. Maybe that's for the best. Maybe I can learn more about the hiss from him. Can we talk? I just had an interesting dream. Oh, shit. That's fascinating, but let's talk about the hiss for a change, yeah? This dream was about the hiss. Ugh. That's what I'm gonna get. In my dream, the hiss had broken free of this prison. I'd set it free. And the president himself was there to welcome us. He was the first one to take the hiss in. Spread the word. At first, many people thought it was horrifying. But also, many people who heard his words wanted to welcome the hiss. And slowly, more and more of them came around until the whole world was brought together. It was wonderful. Okay, thanks for sharing that. Not as long as I'm alive. Maybe I'm just here to punish myself. Any new dreams you'd like to share, Dylan? I'm glad you asked, sister. This dream, like all dreams now, felt very real. Like reality. And maybe it's all a dream. Maybe it's all real. Dream where my brother endlessly tells me about his dreams. I was in a dark place. His name was Mr. Door. And he told me that there are many worlds. Side by side, on top of each other. Some inside of... In one world, there was a writer who wrote a story about a cop. In another world, the cop was real. Dor said he himself was in all of them at the same time, endlessly shifting between them. I asked him how I could reach these worlds. I wanted to bring the hiss there. But he didn't want to help me. He didn't like the idea. What did he know? I'm not wild about the idea myself. Here we go again. Once more with feeling. Let me guess. You want to tell me about your dream? Yes. Yes. In fact, I'm having a dream right now. Oh. That's new. In this dream, I'm standing in the corner watching Jesse and Dylan talk about this very dream. This very dream, he said just now, and repeated it again now. I'm standing there and watching, and that's all I can do. It's as if I'm trapped there. 
And that's all I have to say about that dream. Okay, okay, villain. That's good. Is he still in there? Or is this the hiss playing mind games? I don't know. 